Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel actually. Um, we're in uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim right now. And today I thought we would just have a little chat. Mostly about mercenaries and their roles in a group. Now, largely, a mercenary is someone who's in it for the money or some other monetary gain. Always something, usually a uh, fee that's discussed up front. Which, you know, isn't really a bad thing. At least you know, hey, they're in it for the money, so. As long as you pay them well enough. And on time, of course. They usually don't have any two ways about it as far as what, what they'll actually do to you. I say do for you. To be a mercenary in a group is to be very detached from a lot of things. Largely to be detached from personal struggles of the group. don't usually tend to care about, <clears throat> you know, individuals and their personal sense of morality or whatever. You usually only care about what, or I should say, where your next paycheck will be coming from. Or purse full of coin. The type of person who should probably look to play a mercenary is someone who doesn't really like to get into the nitty gritty of like um, personal struggles, politics, that sort of thing. You're pretty much just around to be a hired hand. And once your contract's up, you move on. Or you stick around, depending on if they want to pay you more. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Typically, mercenaries want to be prepared for a variety of things. Surprisingly, surprisingly enough, betrayal's on that list. Okay, take those. Yeah, that should be enough. Hmm. Be a lot lighter once I actually sell everything. Now, obviously, as a mercenary, you can set your own ethics. Honor that includes who you kill, when you kill you will not kill, your prices, everything. On the flip side, you usually don't have any protection. 
unlike being with a particular faction or guild, you don't have any support. So, there's freedom, but there's consequence. My freaking courier is still there. Anyway. Looking to protect yourself? Or deal some damage? Uh, let's see. I have no idea why orc arrows are garbage while um, dwemer arrows are better. Don't I really don't. Despite them being a whole entire class lower. Well, you know, whatever. <sighs> Typically mercenaries are looked down upon for the fact that they usually don't have any particular loyalties. Often in history, whenever a client ran out of money, Christ, this guy knows how to talk. I mean, I'm kind of, you know, doing a video here, so shut the hell up. Speaking of which, oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. typically as a mercenary, you will want to be armed for literally anything that could pop up. You'll most likely want to have a well-rounded toolkit. Doesn't have to be very fancy, just has to work for you. Remember, the goal is for survival and to get the job done as effectively as possible given your talents. Given your talents, given your immediate resources and intel. Now typically the one thing that will limit you in all this is what you're capable of bringing to the table. Or, sometimes it'll just be as simple as a job you will not take for certain ethical reasons, which you know, is understandable. Obviously, if you're a mercenary, you gotta make that very clear up front what you can be paid to do and what you can't be paid to do. For example, my characters, for the most part, don't have too many scruples about too many, uh, they don't typically, uh, often, even if they're morally gray. Um, definitely do not do crowds very well. And freaking open land warfare is just no. Well, I suppose serving the special forces you know, would be appropriate.
Not to mention, the one thing you really don't want to do is to make anything personal. You never want to target anybody, or say, you never want to get personally invested in killing a target. I mean, especially if it's just like a role-playing group. At the end of the day, it's just pen and paper. Yeah, sure, some players will be dicks about it and try and screw you over, that sort of thing. Which, you know, makes sense, I suppose. Well, let's face it, a lot of people, they're very sore losers, and they'll do anything to win. If they think they can get away with it, they'll do things like cheat you out of deals and god mode some ways. I mean, I've been in plenty of groups where that's happened. And then, of course, they are the ones who complain whenever you do it or call them out on it, which it's like, <laughs> whatever. Don't get me wrong, there's a difference between god moding and being smart. God moaning is simply when you're being a little bitch and can't take damage for shit. A prime example of this is in some groups that don't do dice rolls. They can god mode their way out of actually getting hit by traps and stuff like that. Or should say taking damage from traps. Although usually it goes a lot further than that, and then it gets out of control, and, you know. <sighs> I've been in quite a few groups where that's happened, where everything just devolves out of control, and they, and they have to say, or I should say, what they usually have to say after that is, Oh, well, such great writers. What they try to say the problem is that you and the, uh, you and they are great writers. It's like, no, you're just a little bitch who can't take damage, and I'm smarter than you. So you gotta be prepared for that. Especially if you're a mercenary player. Count on the rest of the group to turn on you too. As a mercenary, typically what you'll wanna do is calculate first every single move that you are going to make. Such as the whole silent roll thing, and you know what your attack plan is, what your escape plan is, and always count, of course, on your enemies to god mode. Like that's not even a question. Speaking of 
which I got to go back to Hyperstep. <coughs> But yeah, this has been a brief overview of the mercenary type in role-playing groups. Tell me down in the comments maybe some of your experiences as a mercenary player. I mean, even in video games. But role-playing groups especially. And maybe I'll make an addendum to this in another video. Until then, I'm your Bishop, and I thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.